Well, Sarah Clow, Australian Diamond Squad member, you must be pretty pumped. I'm very pumped, very excited to be part of the squad. Obviously, it's a huge honour to be part of such a, an amazing environment and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You shared a photo earlier this week with a very young Sarah Clow with the then Australian Diamond Squad. Did you ever think that you'd one day be part of that? Oh, it's pretty crazy to think. Um, obviously, it was always a huge goal of mine, but to actually be in that position now, um, I've always looked up to those girls. Um, and yeah, to be part of it now is pretty crazy, but very exciting. You've obviously come on a huge amount since you've come to the Swifts. You know, you've played in BP games for the club, and now you're in the Diamond Squad. It must be really satisfying to see how much you've developed since coming here. Um, yeah, I'm super shocked. Like, um, I guess the environment really um, reflects my performance and my progression and they've really supported me throughout my time here and I'm extremely grateful for that. And There's obviously going to be a lot of competition in that Diamonds setup, especially from the likes of Emily Mannix and Courtney Bruce. You must be pretty pumped though about going up against those kind of players for the ultimate honour. Yeah, definitely. They're all such quality players and um, being announced in the squad is only the first step. There's obviously a huge amount of work to go and um, it's only the first step. So I really need to prove myself and work really hard and earn a position in that team. So I'm really looking forward to the challenge. And you had a massive game as well at the weekend up against Janine Fowler. While the result didn't go, the Swift still played some amazing netball to score 68 goals. You also had an epic battle yourself too, didn't you? Yeah, she's always a huge challenge. Her arms are so long and um, we did everything in our power to kind of disrupt the ball and I mean we did score 68 goals and to think we still lost is pretty crazy but um, I'm really proud of the girls what they put out on court and yeah unfortunately just could not get over the line um, on the day but super proud.